Crip Hop Nation featured Leroy Moore and King Chasm, who both talked about hip hop culture and history and also performed some of their songs. The main focus of the event was to talk about why artists with disabilities are stigmatized in the music industry. I think everybody who identifies with hip hop has something in common on that level, being that it's something that a lot of us can really feel passionate about. I think my favorite part about performing is, of course, connecting with the audience and knowing that the audience feel me and that we're going, we're going through a journey together. You know? So the, the connection is very important. And also sharing my story you know, around being disabled, being a person of color, and seeing that my story is not only my story. I come from a new year, just on in my home, just out of my home, searching for my purpose and all. Wish the traditions was passed when I was born. Talk between night and day and call me the storm. So I question why hip hop, when I was growing up back in the late 70s, early 80s, didn't have um, people with disabilities on the cover. You know, we, we, we were there in the beginning, but we weren't there on TV or on anywhere. So because of that, um, I wanted to challenge the music industry. The event also included stories of other artists involved with Crip Hop. One artist started with huge success. Even with 7,000 songs under his belt, he could not get a publishing deal. He was told by the record label that he could not be signed because of his arm and he was not marketable. He has found his place in the Crip Hop organization. The big reason why Crip Hop Nation is here is to really um, educate and advocate around musicians with disabilities, you know, that we've been here since the blues, you know, and we're not going nowhere. And it's more, it's, it's more than the music, it's our, it's our politics, our art, our, our, our talent that, that needs to be, you know, listed in, you know, educate the youth and other people around the history of it. You know, we don't need MTV or reality show to do that. We we can do it. Having Leroy on campus to talk about police brutality and queer pop is really important uh, because it's bringing a more radical discussion onto the University of Washington, on, onto this campus. It's um, having a discussion that also involves the community. Um, it's bringing up these views that are not normally discussed on campus. The most important thing people come in from this event is how people with disabilities, um, they're performers, they're artists, they're activists, they're advocates, they're educators. Um, they do a lot of things in a, different, a lot of different realms. Um, this is important because it's just um, you know, questioning how people view people with disabilities, how, um, how art is made, who makes art, and um, it's important because it's just getting another perspective out there, uh, educating more people. Uh, is there anything else that you would like to say about this event? Um, 